Research, but I got really involved. I got involved with the football club, the caving club. Um, that was my goal. Is in addition to doing a full year of engineering, and I can still graduate this year, by the way. Um, I really wanted to get a feel for what it's like to live with people from England, from Europe, and I definitely achieved that and more. Um, I can't say enough about going abroad. If you're thinking about it, go for a year. Emmys, do it. <laughs> go to Imperial. Talk to me after this. Um, You'll have the time of your life, you'll do things you've never realized. Um, in the next slide, I actually got to get, attend a lecture where Stephen Hawking spoke, presented. Um, and that was really, really impressive. And we went to the Royal Albert Hall, which is kind of like the Carnegie Hall of England. And that was, in itself, just an amazing experience hearing him talk about his recent research and being able to actually connect with arguably one of the greatest scientists of our time. Um, go abroad, travel. You can still study, you can still graduate in four years, even if you're an engineer. It takes hard work. Work with Tacey if you're an engineer because she will make things infinitely easier for you and you won't pull your hair out. A uh, quick story is that when I first got to England, I realized that the schedule we planned wasn't what I had in mind. And Tacey was there. I make a phone call from England to say, hey Tacey, I'm in London right now. I need you to help me with some classes. Less than 24 hours later, everything sorted out, everything signed up, everything's approved and I'm back on track and not pulling my hair out anymore. So Miracle you'll still get help. You know, Eric Borger will get help before you'll get help when you're in England and when you go back. I'm still getting great advising and making sure I'm still graduating on time. And it's all perfect. So go abroad. <laughs>